Neurons are organized in networks and are interconnected by glutamatergic and GABAergic synapses. The spontaneous activity of neurons in a network reflects the spontaneous activity of these synapses. To visualize the activity of each neuron in a network, we can use calcium imaging. Why? Because changes of calcium concentration inside the soma of a neuron reflects its electrical activity. Also, calcium imaging allows recording the activity of hundreds of individual neurons at the same time. To do so, we submerge brain slices in fluorescent calcium indicator, Fura 2AM. To do this, we start by switching on a hot plate, which will maintain brain sections at a temperature of 30 to 32 degrees Celsius during incubation. We are going to select three brain sections based on the presence of an area of the brain that we want to investigate, and also the quality of these slices. Fura 2 am is a molecule that is liposoluble thanks to the AM group. Once inside the neuron, the Fura 2 am molecule will lose its AM group through the endogenous esterases that will break up the calcium indicator separating this group. Then, the Fura 2 can no longer exit the neuron without the AM group. Under our experimental conditions, the Fura 2 molecules are not bound to calcium ions and emit fluorescence. Following 20 minutes of incubation, we rinse the brain sections in an artificial oxygenated extracellular fluid solution. In this recording chamber, there is an optical device capable of quick acquisition, i.e. producing an image of neuronal calcium activity every 100 milliseconds thanks to a special laser. This machine is equipped with an electrophysiology recording station that also allows us to use the patch clamp technique. This recording chamber receives continuous circulation of oxygenated extracellular fluid solution. A scan of the brain section by special lasers produces recording which is, in fact, a succession of several thousand images. The recording represents the calcium activity of about 100 neurons in the same field over time. But what is happening in each of the neurons and how does this Vera 2 calcium indicator work? During each neuronal activity, action potentials are generated. These action potentials cause neuronal membrane depolarization, which opens voltage-gated calcium channels. This in turn allows extracellular calcium ions to enter neurons. These calcium ions enter and bind to the Fura 2 calcium indicator. And in this configuration, the Fura 2 molecule is no longer fluorescent. When we excite the Fura 2 molecule with this laser, we record variations in the fluorescence produced by this molecule that depend on whether or not it is bound to calcium. A recording of these variations in fluorescence in every neuron in the field, both in space and time, is an indirect reflection of neuronal activity. Now we are going to see how these calcium image recordings can be analyzed. For instance, an analysis of this data helps highlight synchronous neuronal activity. We use a program that was developed and refined in the lab. To analyze our calcium image automatically, we input into the program the acquisition parameters of each of these recordings, such as the temporal resolution, i.e. the time spanned by each image in the series. This program enables us to trace the shape of each of the neurons. The shapes of the neurons are associated with their natural variation in calcium fluorescence over time. The software enables us to analyze in detail each variation of every neuron over time. In fact, the program automatically places small round markers at the start and small square markers at the end of each calcium fluorescence event or variation. The program marks these calcium events for all the fluorescent neurons in recordings, whose shapes have been traced. The same software generates a graphic for us, known as a raster plot. 
of all of the calcium activity of the neurons in the recording. The x-axis shows the time, whereas the y-axis represents each neuron individually, and every black dot corresponds to a calcium event in a given neuron at a given time. Vertical lines represent synchronous events in several dozen neurons at a given moment in time. We are able to record the electrical activity of a neuron alongside its calcium firing. When a neuron generates an action potential, we record a variation in the fluorescence. Calcium signal amplitude and duration are proportional to the number of action potentials generated by the neuron being recorded. In conclusion, this calcium image technique helps record the activity of hundreds of neurons at the same time. This technique also helps get an insight into the activity of the neuronal networks. <laughs>